Hi everyone, this is Corey with Camera Coach. Thanks for joining me today. Um, this is our episode about lenses. Really, it's not just one episode, it's the beginning of a series uh, because we really feel there's a lot to be learned uh, about lenses to help you just grow in your photography. All right, so that's really why we're covering this. Uh, I think after understanding your camera exposure controls, lenses are the next thing on the list as far as understanding to grow and just become better. The main thing we're gonna cover for this episode is focal length. Most photographers will use focal length as the main characteristic to describe their lenses whenever they're talking to other people. So I think it's really, really, really important to understand focal length. All right, so here's a quick illustration just to explain what it is, and then we'll come back and we'll talk some more. Most lenses have several pieces of glass inside them called elements. These elements are going to redirect or refract the light, bend it, and all of the light will eventually come to a point and converge and focus. So this is called the focal point inside a lens, focal point. Okay, now this lens is connected to a camera and inside that camera is a sensor where the light gets absorbed to create the image. The distance from the sensor, sorry, let me label that sensor is right here. The distance from the sensor to your focal point is going to be your focal length. Okay. So it should make sense. You have a smaller lens, then it's going to have a smaller focal length because it's going to converge faster and get closer to that sensor. Then if you have a longer lens, then it takes more distance for all that light to converge and it's going to give you a larger, larger focal, focal length. These were some photos that I took recently at the Rappaport Academy High School in Waco, Texas. We're starting off with a really wide angle. Uh, this is an, an, at an 18 millimeter focal length, uh, which gives you a really, really wide field of view. Uh, we, go, we graduate from 18 to 24 and also 35. All three of these are going to be categorized as a wide angle, and rightfully so, you can see that. Next on our list is a 50 millimeter uh, shot from the same location. Uh, so the 50 millimeter is going to give you what we call a normal field of view, which means that it's really close to the way that we see our normal vision, our eyesight. And uh, so about 40 to 60 millimeters is kind of considered the, the standard of normal uh, range there. And so this one was 50. And then we graduate from 50 up to the telephoto range. 70 millimeters is where that starts, and you can see the 70 millimeter there, just a little bit more of a narrow field of view, and then we go from 70 to 100, and then 100 to 200, and it's just shrinking down that field of view and the magnification is getting higher. Uh, it goes well beyond 200, there are several lenses that will give you a focal length higher than that, and it's just really the overall effect. Uh, so. Ultimately, what it boils down to is your focal length is telling you the field of view, uh, how much of what you're looking at will you get into frame. Okay, that wraps things up. Uh, before we really close out though, let's do a quick review. Now, we talked about focal length, and that is the distance from the sensor inside your camera to the focal point inside your lens. It tells you about the field of view, how much of what you're looking at is going to be in your frame when you take the picture. We also came across three different categories of lenses. Your wide angle, which is about 18 to 35 millimeter. Uh, then you have your standard or your normal, which will be 40 to 60, that's what we'll say. And then we'll do telephoto, which is 70 millimeter on up. Okay, so that's a quick recap. Hopefully this was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe. Um, and if you know anyone else that would really benefit from this information, we ask that you'd share it with them. Um, and don't forget to like the video as well. Uh, if you're a parent or a guardian, and you have a young one that actually is interested in photography, please consider checking out our website, which is photocameracoach.com. There you'll be able to find some more information about summer camps 
and some photo challenges, even a little bit for adults. There's some workshops that are coming down the line as well. Uh, so that's kind of a good spot where you can check out some more of our information, along with our social media, which have, we have our Facebook, our Instagram, and Twitter. All right, that's it. This is Corey signing off. Have a great day.